and Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh Bashim, I was shy, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered Israelites around the four corners of the earth and among the heathen that be like unto the speckled bird. To the aqua that are listening and learning, to you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm coming at you with another lesson. Uh, this is actually a redo because I, I realized something that I said something that was a little off. And um, it's important that you feed the, the sheep proper information. Um, but uh, the video was called Are Ye Not God? So we're just going to name it that again. All right. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to go to the book of Genesis. The 30th chapter around the time when... Um, when Jacob was leaving from among his his wife's uh, family from from his father, all right. And I'm gonna um, the point is in thirty and thirty two, but I'm gonna start at at uh, twenty seven, all right. And it reads, "Wherefore this this thou flee away secretly and still away from me." And didst not tell me that I may have sent thee away with mirth and with song and with tabret and with harp. And hast not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters. Thou hast not done foolishly in so doing. It is in this power of my hand to do you hurt. But the power of your father spake unto me yesterday, saying, Take thou heed, thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. And now that thou needs be gone, because thou sore longest after thy father's house, yet for hast stolen my gods. All right. So those gods there, in the pre previous video, I said that it was referring to the to the uh, to the patriarchs, but it wasn't. He was actually talking about his idols. All right. Even though the Hebrew word being used there is the same as the the word gods in, in Genesis, the first chapter. All right. And I'm going to prove that that the gods of the earth yet and still are the uh, the patriarchs and, and their children that came from them, the 12 tribes. All right. And not just that, but the elect of them to be even more specific. All right. <clears throat> Verse 31. And Jacob answered and said to Laban, because I was afraid for I preadventure, though thou wouldest take by force thy daughters from me. And with some whoever thy find, and with whomsoever thou find thy gods, let him not live before our brethren discern thou. There's none but Satan, man. None but Satan. Hold on, because I lost my image. And I'll finish. Let me see if I can get my image back. <laughs> number Satan right there all right and Jacob answered and said to Laban because I was afraid for I said preadventure thou wouldest take by force thy daughters from me with whoever whomsoever thou findest thy gods let him not live before our brethren discern thou what is thine with me to take to thee for Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them so a God can't be stolen man a true God I mean, outside of what happened to the Israelites after they lost their power. Okay? But when you look that word up um, in the Hebrew, that word there is, is H, well, Hebrew in the, in the Strong's H430, which, which comes out to, uh, to mean, you know, you look it up, it says, it says uh, Elohim of the Supreme God, and it, and it feeds right into h four. Three, three, all right, <clears throat> and it says angels, great judges, mighty, okay. And <clears throat> hold on, let's go to uh, and to prove what I what I what I I just said, we're gonna go to John, to the book of John, uh, ten and thirty four. When Yahushai speaks.
because that spirit of not wanting to accept who he is and his power is still in the earth today. We're dealing with it all over again. This is uh, <clears throat> John 10 and 32, and it reads, And Yahweh shall answer them, um, Many good works have I showed thee from my father. For which of those works do ye stone me? So he said, I've done these miracles in the name of my father. So which, so exactly which one are you going to stone me for? Then the Jews, being jealous, really, well, that's what this was all about. Then the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou, being a man, makest thyself God, making himself a power. All right? And that's the same word in the Hebrew. Okay? They, you know, because why? Well, they, they were speaking Hebrew at this time. The Jews were speaking Hebrews back and forth to one another, even though they were living among the Greeks. All right? Although there is something called a Greek-speaking Jew that was a Hellenist. All right? Because remember when Paul beckoned to speak to the people, he beckoned to speak to them in the Hebrew, and then everyone got quiet. You know, they were still running their mouths when the Greek was being spoken. But once the Hebrew stopped being spoken, they got quiet to listen because they had a respect for the for our language. OK. Um, and then in, in verse 34, in the point, and Yahweh shall answer them, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are gods. All right. So who are those gods? In Psalms 82 and 6, the same one in H430, the same ones that were there in the beginning. Matter of fact, if we go to John 1 and 1, and it reads, uh, the, um, I'm going to read verses 1 through 3, all right? And it says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with, with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Those powers, all right? All things that were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. So the, the so in the beginning the powers were with were with Yahweh Shai. Because the first thing that that the that Yahweh made was Yahweh Shai. And the first thing Yahweh Shai made what was the uh the powers that be, meaning the, the, the angels, all of them, including Satan. And then the elect, which make which made up the Israelite here on earth. The those those are the spirits of the Israelites here on earth. That's why he says, uh, I, ye, ye are gods. Alright, but ye shall die like men. Matter of fact, let's go to Psalms and read that. Let's go to Psalms uh 82 and 6 and read that. And it reads, I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the most high. They were there in the beginning. Alright? But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. So what? We got put into those those uh, uh those chains of darkness, which is spoken of in Jude, in the book of Jude. We got put into the flesh, man. And that's what we're trying to we're jockeying to get back to it. Uh, this is uh, uh Jude the sixth uh Jude uh ver verse six. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. He hath reserved an everlasting change under darkness unto, unto the judgment of the great day. So those angels that left their first estate, they left that angelic state to take on human form. That's why it says, are, are, ye, are, ye, are ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. All right. So Laban, Laban back in Genesis, the, uh, uh, the sixth chapter, I mean, the 31st chapter was worrying about a bunch of of pictures of false images that Rachel had taken. All right, but the gods were with were with Jacob. Jacob and his and, the, and was there all along. They were the true powers. All right, he said he was looking for his sons. Then no, they were actually Jacob's sons. All right, they were the powers. Okay, and when you go to uh, Genesis, the uh, the first chapter. And I and and then and then the Strong's Concordance is, is my source, but I, I looked up the, that word in Genesis one and one, and that, and that word is in, in from is is written over and over again from Genesis the first chapter, all the way up to Genesis the ninth chapter the twenty seventh chapter, and the only time 
that 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 word is is, is uh, God is used and it's not talking about the powers that created everything, about the Elohim, which was plural, all right, not singular, was in Genesis six and five, and the number there was H Hebrew uh, in the Strong's thirty sixty eight. So H three zero six eight, and that one says Yahweh. It says the actual name. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that. And you know, I'm going to wrap this up. Let's go to Genesis 6 and 5. Because all the way up to the ninth chapter. Alright, this is Genesis 6 and 5. And it says, And God saw that the wickedness of man was great. See, usually it, it will tell you, it, it'll be uh, uh, all capitals. Where it says, Lord. And that says, you know, and it, it would say Yahweh then. But this one, it actually says God with a capital G and capital O and a capital D. But when you look it up, it's 30, it's, it's H3068. And it's, and it's, and it says Yahweh in the Hebrew. All right. So, I, I, and it says, and, and God saw the wickedness of man was great and in the earth and that every imagination of thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And we're practically there again. All right, because this is right when Yahweh destroyed the earth with the with the great flood. And now he's about to destroy the earth. Well, not the earth, but he's about to destroy Babylon and do serious damage to the earth with fire. The second death is going to be fire. All right. When he destroys the armies of the uh, uh, of the earth, man. So once again, the true warriors of God, the true warriors of God are the Hebrew Israelites from the 12 tribes. All right. And then the true power among the Israelites are the elect, because the elect are going to sit, are going to judge all the nations of the world, judge the, uh, the Israelites, even judge angels, such as, it's, uh, so as the scripture says, man, they're going to be imbued with, with, with power like none other. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem Abishai. Wa'ababababah.